Ooh, I am playing with fire, both pun intended and not pun intended. Actually, that's perfect. Go Super Saiyan. Cue my music. Welcome back to Boss Owner World Iceborne. My name is Uno, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna give some people some tips. I'm gonna give y'all some tips on Fatalis, cause he's a tough boy. He's a tough boy. Now, will these tips help you go through this hunt as if easiest thing ever? Most likely not, but they're tips nonetheless, and they hopefully will um, help you out. Hopefully. So first, before we even jump into it, first we even before we even jump into the hunt, what you need to do, you need to make two sets. You need to make two different builds for fatalis the first build um spec as much attack as possible that you can do also spec maxed out part breaker get all your stuff in what blah 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 but most importantly make sure you spec into heavy artillery doesn't matter about health boost it doesn't matter about evade extender evade window um any of those defensive stats this is going to be you're going to need all of your attack to the max as possible as well as heavy artillery and um part breaker next thing you want to do make your other build this is going to be your regular build that you're going to hunt fatalist normally this is going to be my normal build it's the same five piece safi jiva but i switched the gems around a little bit um as you see there's no agitator because me personally i want that evade window in there um and i definitely want the evade extender i'm trying to tell you evade extender it, it's pretty good it's, it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie but um what we're going to do is after you do that, also make sure that you bring a fire caster because yeah, you're, you're going to need it because right after the beginning, we're going to switch. We're going to be switching our builds, but it's probably better if I just show you. So let's just jump into it. So at the very beginning of this hunt, what you're going to want to do, make sure you have your ghillie mantle. Don't spec, don't, don't put heavy artillery in the, your ghillie mantle. You're going to make sure you want that on your actual person, on your actual armor. Because the second you fire off one cannon shot, the ghillie break, the, the mantle breaks, and then you don't get the actual buffs. Go my boy looking clean, but this isn't going to be what I'm going to be looking like by the end of the hunt. Um, I went ahead and put free, that is not what I want to do. I went ahead and put free meal... Where's my... Why is it all the way over here? That's that's weird. I, I ain't like that. But, eh, oh well. Um, so you're going to make sure you want to do your... Only do Mega Demon Drug. That's all you really need to do right now. Do your Demon Drug or Mega Demon Drug. Then you're going to want to pop your Ghillie Mantle and then fly down. Because what we're going to do, we're going to do some Batman prep. And start setting up these cannons. Shut up, Handler. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. Literally what I'm about to do. He'll roar, but he, he's not going to see you. You're good. You're good. So you're going to go ahead and set your cannons up. Since I got evade extender, I can pretty much just roll all the way there. And then roll back. <laughs> Thank you for helping me, Kuro. Go ahead and put that in there. Arigato gozaimasu. Go ahead and put this over here. Now what you're going to do, you're going to want to turn both these cannons twice. Now, I don't know how this works for the regular quest, but for the event quest version, um, because I think they're standing in different spots, I believe. You're going to want to take this cannon, push it over once, and then push it over again. And then you're going to, do, you're going to want to do the same, except to the left. Push it once, push it again. And now, you're gonna want to, like, we're gonna, you're gonna do as much damage as possible. So, get your buffs up. Then you're gonna go ahead and be like Danny Vito. Anyway, I started blasting. Bang, bang. Okay, he's gonna come over here. You're gonna want to go Super Saiyan, just to protect yourself, just in case he decides to shoot you off here and then causes a whole bunch of chaos and stuff. He's gonna look this way a little bit and then go ahead and fire. Now, you jump down, bun cut. Do as much damage as possible. Whatever your strongest move is, do that. Blade dance. 
Lane dance again. Even though I'm not fully on the head, I don't like this angle, actually. Next thing you want to do, there's Slinger here. Go ahead and grab some Slinger. Wow. We're going to spin him. Might as well just shoot him right there. He will get agitated after this, I believe. Dang, I still didn't roll through it. Now what you're going to want to do is stay down here until your mantle is gone. While doing as much damage as possible. If I can get a tenderize off, that'd be sweet. Wow, missed. Alright, well, that's it for that. I'm out. Because he might kill me. Woo! Woo, that was close. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and pop a max potion. Get that all the way up. Oh, free meal. Even better. Even better. So now we're going to go into the camp. Refresh all your items again. Oh, I ran out of demon powder. Thank you. I'm being very unprofessional, I know. So now I'm going to go to my Bane build, switch to that, and my glorious armor. Mm. Has no business looking that good. Okay, so now we're going to start doing our buffing phase, which is um, we're going to do dash use, get our wet fish in. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this. I probably didn't, but you're going to want to make sure that you put heavy artillery for this build into your temporal mantle. It'll make sense later, trust me, but in your, your temporal mantle, maybe even also into your rock steady mantle, put heavy artillery because we're gonna be using um, another artillery move later. Every time you land, he always gets ready to shoot at you. So just, just run out the way of that. Also, dual blades tip, always carry slinger. And I know I say that for like a lot of the hunts, but this is more important. Also, that move, don't even stand near him, because the range on that is deceptively far. Yeah, get out of the way of that. But for the most part, outside of that move, in the some couple of times that he goes towards you... Whoa. You really want to stay close to him. I don't know where I'm landing. Now what I want to do, I want to save my rock steady until he goes ahead and stop being agitated. Whoa, sir. Whoa, don't do that. <laughs> Get out the way of those. Because when he's doing that, like, borderline, his entire body is like a hitbox and it's stupid. Get out the way of that because I think sometimes he leaps up from it. I don't know the tell quite yet between which he does. Oh, perfect. Do 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 do. Give me that arm. Already got to Also, you're going to save your mantle because because of that damage we did at the beginning. This phase isn't going to last long at all. Oh, I thought he was roaring. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Ooh, that's close again. Whoa! Whoa. That dodge was... Clutch as fuck. Just... Ooh, that, that dodge was pretty clutch too. Get out the way, he's falling. Yup. Oh, I am so far away. Oh my god. Run, boy, run. Oh, I got time. Alright, I like to regular do a regular sharpen so that way it takes longer and I get to have my uh, bonus a little longer. Now, what you're going to want to do 
because it's literally right here. Pick up these bounders. You're gonna you're gonna need them in the future. So just just pick them up. Busho Koka. Ow. Can I can I grab you? Okay, I'm gonna heal and just be on the safe side. Oh, he's landing. Never mind. Now I don't remember if I put heavy artillery on this. Uh. Whoa. Okay, so this is what you want to do for this. You're gonna blade dance, but make sure you do it quick. And then L trigger. Get out of there. Ooh, get out the way of that. <laughs> Whoa, the tail! <laughs> Temporal is back, okay. So now at some point, we're gonna... Whoa. We're gonna wanna lead him over there. Like, at some point, if the, if the fight goes over there, cool, but... Again, don't go too far away from him because of that one move that could basically... It, it'll kill you. No ifs, ands, or buts. Alright, we're getting pretty close. So this move. That move will get you killed. But we're gonna go super. We're gonna pick this up. I should have tenderized the face for extra damage, but whatever, we're here now. Do as much damage to the face as possible, because you need to make sure you break that face before the final phase. Because if you don't, Bapu beep, you're dead, dead, dead. Unless you're like freaking the yellow flash from Naruto and you're just amazing at dodging get out the way of that like that move even if you're behind him like you might think oh I could probably hit him from behind pause oh my battery is low that's not good so how do I plug up my laptop like this Okay, ooh, that was close. Ooh, okay, we're good. <laughs> we're in there, we're good, we're good. But yeah, even if you're behind him while he does that move, it still hits him from, hits, like the hitbox of it is huge. Just don't. Please give me your arm. That's not your arm. Come on. But yeah, that's pretty much that's what you want to do a whole whoa get out the way. A whole bunch of in and out. Damn it. I need a drink. Actually, fuck the drink. Let me make sure I get that damage off. Later, man. Now let's get the drink going. Oh, perfect. You fell. Give you time to get my drink on. Oh, you're in the air. Okay. You can just knock him down with the... Whoa. With the um, binder. Which I kind of want to do that. Whoa. But I don't know. I might not. I might not. Unless he, if he gets close to me, or we get close to like an area where you can um, bind him up, I might. But otherwise, I might just save him for the final phase. No, he's going to come down now. Or never mind. Because like I feel like the second I clutch claw onto him, he's just going to like fly down and then up. Oh, I'm hurt now. Ooh, hold up. Come here. Oh, God. Ooh, actually, this is a really good tip. This is a really good tip. Dragon Pods, right? If you shoot him twice, he will flinch. And I'm trying to tell you how good of how good that is. Just to just to be like, hey, stop for a second. I got scared and thought that was gonna hit me. Got the way of that. Got the way of that. 
And y'all probably wonder why am I not aiming for his head? Because I know that with all the um, part breaker I have, I'm gonna end up breaking his head pretty soon. Get out the way of that. And aiming for his head is like tough. Ooh, that's close. Like a lot of it is, it's a whole lot of ducking in, ducking out. <laughs> max potion. That's not a max potion. But it'll, it'll just have to work for right now. Got the way of that. Because, like, even though, even though it's tough to fight him, the safest place for you to be is, ironically, close to him on to his left or right side. Oh, well, perfect. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't know if I can get a flint shot in, but if I can, that'd be amazing. Get off the way of that. I also need a sharpen coming up soon. There's a lot of things I need to do. There's a lot of things. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't the fighting game because if you couldn't tell, I like to run to the left a lot. I don't know why that is, but I just do. Ooh. Oh, I still got caught. See, like, I want to run to that figure. See, I'm glad I didn't do it because if I did, I would have been fucked. <laughs> Later, man. Later, man. Well, I thought you were gonna fall. What? <laughs> you baited me. Okay, perfect. Also, why he does this move, ready, uh, the second flame, if you find him on the other side of the map when that starts, and you get clipped with the fire, like the wind, uh, the wind knockback, you're probably dead. You're probably not making it over here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna be real about it. Save my max potions. Also, I didn't break his head, so I'm scared. Oh, because <laughs> I was like, I was talking all that shit. Like, oh, I'll, I don't have enough time to break the head. I, have, I haven't broken the head yet. Um, so I'm a little scared. Luckily, I have two binders. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I didn't. This is this didn't work out how I wanted it to. Busho Koka. Stop moving. Okay. Hopefully, I can break it. Come on. Come on. It didn't, it didn't break. Okay, so now this just turned into level like, oh my god, difficulty. And we're just gonna keep trying. Come on! Thank you. Okay. Let's go. Do it again. Alright, when he does this, it's better to run off at an angle because it kind of spreads like... Like... I guess a cone would be the best way to put it. Okay, now I need to wait for the um, the Roman Ballista to be back up before I use my Temporal Mantle. Because I want that extra damage. Oh wow. Trans Am. Oh, I am playing with fire, both pun intended and not pun intended. Okay, so this move, make sure you hug him. Hug him like he is like your best friend. Also, this is good. Give me some. We're going to just Superman dive because I'm scared. Ugh. 
Okay, I need to get close to him in case he does the fan move again. Can you heal me, please? Can you heal me, please? Thank you. Go ahead and fall. Ooh, that's close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, hold up. But seriously, where's the, uh... Where's the whatchamacallit? The Roman Ballista and the... What do you call it? I'm really blanking on what it's called. Hug him! But don't hug him on the same side that he started doing the move. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Oh, he's falling. Rolling ballista one minute. Crap! Again? Oh, that's scary. Really scary. Don't do the cone move. Actually. Oh, you're standing up. I should only turn them twice. Hug them. Where's the dragon eater? That's that's the question. But I want to. I use Roman Bliss is all the way over there, man. Ooh. Oh, I thought you were falling. Ten minutes left. That's actually perfect. Why'd you have to go further away? <laughs> actually, that's perfect. Go Super Saiyan. Cue my music! Bunkai. And I didn't even hit the head. <laughs> was perfect. Because now, I can go ahead and use... Yeah, I can go ahead and use the Roman Ballista. But the Roman Ballista is why you want to put... Come here. Your heavy artillery into your mantle, so then you can just literally lay him out with this. I went really far. One, two. Come on. Finally. That's fine. That's fine with me. That's fine. Remember to hug him. You actually have a lot of time to do some stuff. That actually one shot me. Whoa, this is the first time I died. Holy crap, I'm actually shot.
Thank you, Coral, for leaving this here. Okay. I mean, I doubt I use that for anything, but... Also, if you need to, there's another um, one-shot binder over on the other side. On my left side. I'm going to need this just in case. Come on. Actually, go ahead and... No! Ah. Come on, dash juice. Thank you. Get out the way of that. And hug him on the left side. Which side? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know what move you were doing. I'm scared, so I'm just gonna... Alright, get close on, because it might do the cone move. No! Bucho Koka! Like, I feel like even while I'm trying to do this, it's still hard, man! It's still hard! Come on. Blade dance. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> I really feel like I didn't give too many tips. But like, oh man. I don't know if I'm going to edit in like tips at certain parts and stuff. But oh my God. <laughs> oh man, I really, I think, see now I can calm down. The adrenaline's still running high and I can actually really articulate what I want to say. I think dual blades is a pretty easy weapon to use for Fatalis. I wouldn't say it's a hard counter, but I mean, you saw during the final phase, I was mostly just doing like just doing the slingshot, and then just just doing the slingshot for the most part. Dash out, do the slingshot because it does pretty good damage. It's quick. It gets you out of safe way. Like, what was the time on that? Twenty three minutes, and that was included. Well, I guess technically. I, like I died, but I technically didn't die. But yeah, um, I think I showed off both the builds at the beginning. If I didn't, I'm gonna edit it in. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. I'm gonna end the video because I keep saying, it, but yeah, I still don't have all the armor pieces quite of yet as of the time of this video. But um, actually. Let's see what kind of decorations I got. Maybe I got lucky and got like something amazing. Okay, I didn't. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, whew, I really need to get finish getting the rest of this armor. But thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Watch your hands, sanitize, and all the good stuff. And I'll see y'all on the next one.